हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर अर्शद अली खान ऑफिशियल इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम नंबर टेन पॉइंट टू फ्राम चैप्टर नंबर टेन नोजल्स एंड जेट प्रोपल्शन द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम टेन पॉइंट टू इज इट इज रिक्वायर टू प्रोड्यूस अ स्टीम ऑफ हीम एट द रेट ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट वन किलोग्राम पर सेकेंड ट्रेवलिंग एट सॉनिक वेलासिटी एट अ टेम्परेचर ऑफ फिफ्टीन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एज्यूम नेग्लिजेबल एंडलेट वेलासिटी आई सेंट्रोपिक फ्लो एंड अ बेग प्रेशर ऑफ वन पॉइंट जीरो वन थ्री बार कैलकुलेट द रिक्वायर्ड एंडलेट प्रेशर एंड टेम्परेचर सेकेंड द एग्जिट एरिया ऑफ द नोजल फॉर हिलियम टेक द मोलर मास इज फोर किलोग्राम पर किलोमोल एंड गेमा इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल राइट द गिवन डेटा सो वी हैव गिवन द मास फ्लोरेट ऑफ द स्टीम ऑफ हिलियम which is m dot in kilogram per second temperature at sonic velocity is denoted by tc also called critical temperature and it is 15 degree centigrade so we will convert this 15 degree centigrade into kelvin so 273 will be added with this so it becomes 288 kelvin similarly the back pressure is p2 and it is equivalent or equal to critical pressure and it is 1.013 bar the the inlet velocity is negligible so it is 0 meter per second here it is isentropic flow so the isentropic index small in in case of air it is taken as gamma and for this case for helium it is denoted by small n and it is 1.66 molecular weight of helium is 4 as it is given 4 kg per kilo mole and from this we can easily find the particular gas constant or specific gas constant for helium because we know that the universal gas constant is equal to 8314 joule per kilogram per kilo mole so to find the particular or specific gas constant for helium we have the expression for specific gas constant which is universal gas constant divided by molar mass of that gas so this is the value of universal gas constant and molar mass is given which is 4 kg per kilo mole so we will divide this r bar with Uh, m bar which is the molar mass so finally we will get the value of r for helium which is 2078.5 joule per kilogram similarly we have to find the required pressure inlet pressure and the pressure t1 and the exit area of the nozzle a2 for sonic flow we have pc is equal to p2 coming to the solution of this problem we have that critical pressure ratio pc by p1 is equal to p2 by p1 because pc and p2 are equal for sonic conditions 
so it is further equal to 2 by n plus 1 over n by n plus 1 so it is basically minus 1 n by n minus 1 so we have 2 divided by 1.66 plus 1 over n is 1.66 and n minus 1 1.66 minus minus 1 is 0 0.66 so the ratio of critical pressures is equal to 0 0.488 similarly the temperature ratio t2 by t1 is equal to tc by t1 which is further equal to 2 by n plus 1 n is 1.66 so this ratio comes out 0 0.752 now from this ratio which is p2 by p1 is equal to 0.488 we can find the p1 value because pc and p2 are equal so replacing it pc with p2 p2 value is given which is 1.013 bar and it is given in the problem pc and p2 are equal so when we divide this with 0 0.488 we get 2.077 bar so this is the first quantity which was required to find this is the inlet pressure now to find the inlet temperature for that again using this ratio tc by t1 is equal to 0 0.752 so finding t1 we will divide critical temperature with 0 0.752 critical temperature is given which is 288 15 degree centigrade divided by 0 0.752 in kelvin we get 383 kelvin converting to degree centigrade it becomes 110 degree centigrade for finding the exit area second we have to find the exit area of the nozzle so to find the value of the exit area for that we will use the continuity equation a2 is equal to m v2 by c2 further for critical conditions we can write it like this m into vc divided by cc so first we will find the values of vc or v2 and cc so using the perfect gas equation or ideal gas equation we can write that v2 is equal to r t2 by p2 where r is the helium particular gas concentrated 2078.5 into t2 is 288 it is given because t2 and tc are equal in this case and p2 is 1.013 converting it to pascal we will multiply the factor of 10 raised to power 5 so finally simplifying this we get 5.91 cubic meter per kilogram which is the value of specific volume at the exit similarly the velocity at exit is equal to square root gamma r tc this gamma in this case is n isentropic index so n is given 1.66 r is 207.8 78.5 and critical temperature is 288 so simplifying this we get 996.84 meter per second now putting these values v2 and vcc are vc and cc in equation 1 so mass flow rate is 0 0.1 kilogram per second vc is 5.91 cubic meter per kilogram and cc is 996.84 so when we simplify this we get 593 square millimeter so this is the required exit area and this is all about the solution of problem 
10.2 so to further get the new videos for problem solution please subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching please like and comment on my videos also subscribe my channel to get new videos